Greetings, Laddingtons. Today I want to talk a bit about Patreon, Sargon of Akkad, Jordan Peterson and Dave Rubin. And of course also about the fact that Subscribestar is back in business. So for those of you who um, do not know what I'm talking about, in uh, December last year, so uh, a month ago, Sargon of Akkad got uh, kicked off Patreon for um, saying a bad word in another person's live stream. A uh, very silly thing he got uh, banned for, but it is what it is. Now, I will say the following before commenting upon these uh, three individuals, and that is that I do like Sargon of Akkad. I think he does uh, brilliant work in exposing leftist... Uh, hypocrisy etc. Now Dave Rubin and uh, Jordan B. Peterson I can't say all too much about. Jordan Peterson does some good things but he has a tendency to counter signal people who get uh, too close to the truth. So Jordan Peterson not quite a true friend but he still does some good work. Anyway the reason I mention these people is because they took the decision of leaving Patreon after Patreon kicked Sargon Akkad. Now I will say this, that I am on Patreon and I've never had any problem with Patreon and I've chosen to stay there because I'm hardly in a situation where I can, uh, you know, do something like that to score some political points. I have uh, a lot of things to take care of now, especially with a baby incoming, so I don't have the luxury to play with money in that sort of way. But I understand completely that uh, Jordan Pitchon and Dave Rubin did this because they obviously don't want to be next. Now, in regards to Patreon, some people say that Jack Conti, who is the CEO of Patreon, he is against free speech and everything like that. Uh, I don't think that's the case at all. I think he is very pro-free speech, but he has to play ball with the people who are higher up than him in uh, the hierarchy. And he understands that Patreon is a problem for the powers to be, because the powers to be do not want independent content creators to be able to be financed by the public. That's a ridiculously stupid idea for the powers to be. You can take Sweden for example. You have leftist journalists who are mocking independent journalists and content creators saying oh you are using these services and in Sweden we have something called Swish as well which means that you can very easily pay people or send donations etc. Now these leftist journalists they are mocking people who um, do this Swish journalism because oh you don't have a real job, you don't have a real employment etc. But the hilarious thing here is that the journalists in the mainstream media they're there for one simple reason and that is that they have gone through life like this, never taking any hard battles themselves, just said the right thing to the right person at the right time and you know just um, sold their integrity completely to whatever the powers to be wants to hear. So then they have a well paying position within a newspaper or within you know whatever media outlet it might be. And the fun thing here too is that these big media outlets, in Sweden at least, they do get paid by the state as a support. So it is extremely silly of them to try to score some points against other people who does journalism or create content without this sort of support. Uh, and that is also why Patreon is uh, very hated and Swish too hated by these leftists because they see that other people can get the funding to present an alternative worldview because they obviously they get they have the big money behind them. The mainstream media have a lot of big money behind them, so they don't need to count on, you know, crowdfunding or anything like that. So Patreon and crowdfunding is a problem in the eyes of the established powers, so to speak. So for me, I obviously support anyone who is trying to facilitate freedom of speech, who's trying to facilitate payments to people who promote, you know, politically incorrect opinions. And for me personally, this is extremely important. If you think that I can get a regular job with my name in Sweden, of all places at this moment in time, uh, you're playing wrong. It would be very, very hard. So obviously I rely on crowdfunding as well to have YouTube as a source of income. Uh, simple as that. Now, on to Subscribestar. I thought when they got into trouble last December, I thought, okay, this is the end for them. But they said that, you know, we're not going to lie down, we're going to fight this, and now they're back in action. And um, Sargon Avakad, he has completely switched to Subscribestar now. And I have signed up for an account there too, so if you want to get access to my 
weekly training summary you can do so there as well i will keep posting on patreon and i would definitely appreciate if you who are already a patreon stay on patreon so i have a bit more robust system so i don't have everything in one place so if you are already a patreon please stay there if you do want to support me but you don't want to do it on patreon you can sign up on Subscribestar and uh, I don't see this as a donation, I see this as, you know, you get access to the training notes and also obviously that you contribute to the Metapolitical course here on YouTube. So with that said, the big battle of uh, 2019 is freedom of speech. No question about that at all. So anyway, thank you for watching. XOXO, boom.